Hi there, it's Suzanne from sunstampin.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and this how-to video is a tutorial for all my amazing customers who shop with me this month. This card kit will be sent to those customers who use the designated host code. When customers shop with me, they instantly get invited to a VIP Facebook group called Sun Social, where they'll receive extra special treatment. If you're not one of my customers, please enjoy this free video as an inspirational tutorial. And I would love to see you like, subscribe, and share. For this month's card kit, I am featuring the stamp set Winter Woods. Now I have the punch out here from Everyday Label and I am inking up the stamp with Cherry Cobbler and I'm also stamping with Garden Green as well. Uh, you get two of everything in the kits so you can mix stuff up. Now if you don't have this stamp set you can use whatever stamp set that fits in this punch. All right, I'm also featuring the designer series paper dashing along. This was a host gift for last month. So I have two pieces here and I'm just going to put them opposite each other. And now I'm going to put them in the trimmer and I'm going to put that top left edge at two inches and the bottom right edge at one inch and I'm going to slice. So there's, it, you have to be specific about the layering here because you want two pieces that, um, you sort of switch them. So uh, the top portion of this designer series paper should be the opposite of the bottom. Do you know what I'm saying? Am I making sense? <laughs> It'll all make sense when you actually see the, how the cards place together. Just make sure when you put it in the trimmer that you have say, um, you know, the stripy red and green bit facing itself and then you won't go wrong. So I have put Whisper White in the card kit so that you can adhere these pa papers down and you have a nice white border around them. And I just thought this was a really simple yet really effective way of utilizing your designer series paper. You know, you could use any designer series paper or any specialty paper or um, even a background paper that you've made yourself for this technique. So this um, sort of can go along with anybody. So I'm just putting a little bit of my Fast Fuse. Yes, you can get it. It's in the clearance section of the uh, online store. Um, I'm putting two little strips on either side and then I have included the braided linen trim in your card kit. So um, you can just adhere the trim down and basically you want to hide the seam of the designer series paper. It's super easy, super quick, but this little bit of natural twine is amazing in this design. It really makes it. So the one last thing that I'm doing here is sponging the edges of my punch outs. So um, I am using, this is Vegas Gold, and it's the all-purpose, um, actually it's a pigment, I keep on saying it's a pigment ink, but actually in the Stampin' Up! catalog, we are calling it Shimmer Paint. So it's just a little bottle of gold, and you can see what I'm doing here, just tapping on the edges. And then I put dimensionals on the back, and hopefully you will too and adhering it to the card base. That's my card kit for this month. You know how to get it by using the host code. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you again soon. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the Maple Leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.